on this computer. The next step is to select retail parts. The retail parts component, or we know it as enterprise parts, is a .NET based application. This is a traditional Windows desktop application, can be hosted on any Windows operating system. The retail parts gives you capability in order to perform day-to-day -day operation on each store. Like for example, find a particular product and tender it. Or receive a delivery. Many activities can be performed using point of sale. It's a day-to-day -day activity that the cashier can perform or a manager can perform. This is a .NET based application. So I select this component and that gives me a Windows based application. I click next. It checks the prerequisites. And as you notice, one of the most important component is the OPOS common control, which stands for Olay for pause. That allows point of sale to communicate with any external hardware from any vendor that they have an Opus compliant devices. So that has been installed. I click next. Automatically, the point of sale adds an additional component called retail salt utility. The retail salt utility is giving you the capability to specify a username and a password and automatically encrypts it for you so you can start using the communication in an encrypted way. The installation is rather fast. I've installed both components. So once more, the retail salt utility gives you the capability in order to encrypt the username and a password. That could be a typical user or Windows logon and be able to communicate with the point of sale. So these two components have been installed already. I click finish. I go back to the AX components. I click next. And indeed, as you see, similar to headquarter retail pause can only be installed once per computer. Needless to say, where do you install the pause? You install it on a machine that is supposed to act as a terminal or register. So that could be a Windows that supports .NET Framework. However, new to Dynamics X2012 R3, there are other components that they give you the capability to run it on an embedded devices such as Windows CE or Windows Embedded Operating System that is for kiosk or a smart hardware. The next component that you need to install may be a sync service. The sync service is an integrated service and is acting as a Windows service that periodically send data between the headquarter and the store database and is required for you to run certain jobs. There are different types of jobs that are available, normal jobs or pool jobs or A jobs. This is the technology that was introduced in AX2012 and it specifically got very enhanced in R2. This allows you to schedule certain jobs to run on a certain time on different stores. Perhaps one store has a lower bandwidth, so you can schedule to submit those jobs to those stores off hours. Certain stores that have a high foot traffic areas, so you may want to synchronize it quicker. So you can create different grouping of a scheduling and you can decide what type of a tables and what fields off of those tables need to be synchronized based on what the schedule and frequency. The sync services also requires a message database to be installed on the SQL server, on the headquarter. For all the incoming and outgoing messages, that message database is used. So if you are pushing a policy down to all the stores, there are outgoing messages to the stores. For any transactions that you would like to capture from each store, we know it as a pool job, you bring all the transactions into the headquarter. The sync service is required in order to push out the policies and show the result on the point of sale. So a point of sale can be used either by a store manager or a cashier. So if I wanted to select this checkbox, I could literally consider it as a Windows service and schedule it properly. However, certain data needs to be communicated in real time. Therefore, we needed to have a real-time service. The real-time service is starting from AX2012 R2 and higher has switched its role from being a Windows service to a web service for better performance. Certain operations are acting as a real-time synchronous communication and you need to know the result immediately without having a job to be scheduled. For example, you wanted to check the loyalty membership of a customer. You need to know if this is a valid member. You need to check the points of a loyalty cards. You need to check the quantity on hand of the inventory. You need to do the inventory lookup. You don't have to wait for that schedule to run based on a sync job. Certain activities need to be done at the real time. So these are the examples of activities that the real-time service can offer you. As you see, the following retail components require a real-time service. So if you do have a retail pause, retail pause requires a real-time service. If you have a retail server, which is requires for modern pause, it requires a real-time service. If you do have a retail online channel, which was introduced starting from R2 and higher, which allows you to host your own website to sell on the web, it requires a real-time services. So all of these components, they rely on the real-time services. So real-time service is typically installed at the head office on a domain computer 
data or the same domain as the corresponding AOS instance. We just install the real-time service on the headquarter usually, and all of these components, such as a pause or any other store database, communicate with the real-time services. The combination of a sync service and real-time services is still is available in R3, as you can tell, but new to Dynamics AX 2012 R3, we have a new technology in order to communicate with the stores in a quicker and more organized and more centralized way of controlling communication. Unlike the sync service that had only one message database, each store they have their own dedicated message box. So you are separating the load from one database into multiple. That reduces the traffic and increases the performance. Previously, if you had the sync services, if you had one issue with one of the record in the message database, the rest of the messages were queuing up. Analogy would be like a traffic jam on a freeway versus having a separate channel or separate database in order to communicate with a dedicated store database. The resemblance would be like using a private toll road, if you may. So in this scenario, instead of having a shared message database, we can use a dedicated message database per store. That's a new technology R3 introduced. Just because this is a dedicated server, they also added the asynchronous communication. That means by the time the data gets communicated back and forth, you can indeed control the way that the point of sale can behave and respond to the end user activity. So you can start the synchronization. However, it's an async technology. That means you can carry on with your task and get the latest result as it comes to your point of sale. Therefore, you need to set up the async client as well. So there's a pair of databases that needs to be created.